Good morning, YouTube. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't been posting regularly lately, but uh, it's pretty tough to post stuff when it's been so cold out. Um, we're just basically trying to survive here. And uh, to be quite honest, the depression is kind of setting in just because it's been relentless here with the weather. You can see all the snow that we've been getting and uh, it's March 10th right now and it's minus 21 but windy so minus 31 with the wind chill so um, you can see it's kind of frustrating and uh, we're kind of getting frustrated but um, just to show you guys that farming sometimes isn't all roses and uh, we're just trying to survive till the world warm weather comes and just looking at the long range it looks like it's going to start to turn around here but it just seems it warms up a little bit and then just gives us this uh, cold weather again so everything's getting kind of tired out but really what this video is for is uh, we had a scare this last couple weeks about our chickens they're all sneezing and all that stuff and uh, we were really worried it was a major disease that was spreading through our farm. Um, it's just like when us humans, when we come down with something, we Google it, and then there's a whole slew of stuff that is kind of the worst case scenario. And so it's, it's not a bad thing. I'm not trying to say that. It's just uh, sometimes it's best just to get our animals tested and then uh, confirm what we actually have. So it turns out that we took two chickens in to the vet, the sickest ones, and it turns out it's just a uh, common cold. So that's, that's, that's a good thing for sure. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll just show you what we're gonna feed them here. Um, it turns out that they're lacking a bunch of calcium and protein. So um, we have all our birds on antibiotics. And so the antibiotics is supposed to get rid of the cold, but we want to do something fairly natural to try to boost their immune system. So what we did here is all the eggs we can't eat right now because they're all on antibiotics. So all the eggs that our chickens have been laying um, will be eating scrambled eggs with the shells in it and a whole bunch of other stuff in boxes that Kaylee put in there. So um, they should, every day we're feeding the different flocks this stuff and it should uh, allow them to get better. You can already tell they're getting better through the antibiotics, so it's good. Ah, so uh, it's a battle, but uh, from the looks of the long range forecast, looks like we'll get through it. But yeah, it's extremely cold out here today, and we, uh, we're we struggling here. You can see our path here. It's uh, very blown in, and it'll be interesting to see what happens when things warm up here and all this stuff melts. Um, last year was pretty dry, so we're hoping that the ground will suck most of this in, but at the same time, there's a lot of snow here, so we'll see. We kind of live on a hill. You can kind of see the incline there. So naturally everything's going to follow gravity down into our coops here. So, But uh, I'll show you another thing we're struggling with. There, I'll, I'll dump this slop pail out for the pigs. A couple more things we've been struggling is Peppa here. We saw her get bred a couple times and so Around this time, she's supposed to farrow piglets, but uh, we have ne we've seen no progress on her actually being pregnant. Um, this is our first time doing it, so we never really know what a pig should look like. But we haven't seen any progress in her getting fat. And she's supposed to farrow this week, so we're guessing she's not pregnant. So the next step thing I guess we can do is get him semen tested and hopefully that'll tell us whether or not he's good or not. So that's uh, kind of frustrating for us because we've been trying to 
breed these guys for a year and a half now. So, but anyways. It's breeding season for the geese. And this is, I caution everybody who's kind of leery to blood, but this is uh, our male goose here. And he is kind of being a prick. Um, he's fighting with the cats and the dogs because he's trying to protect his lady. So um, he's nice to us, but he's getting himself into some real trouble and it's all self-inflicted. So what we ended up doing is bandaging his neck uh, just to stop him from picking at it. And it's been working fairly decent, but you can see he gets pretty ornery towards the dog. So what we ended up doing, we locked him, locked him into this enclosure here, and then we moved everything over there, the food and everything for the dogs and cats, just so that he has a chance to heal and he can't really get anywhere. And Peppa here, she's a nice pig, but we're pretty upset that he's not pregnant yet. Okay, so this is what we got here. You can see kind of see it's a reddish color. So this is the antibiotics. It smells like vanilla. So it almost smells so good that we can drink it, but probably not a good idea. So yeah, uh, sorry I'm sniffling so much. It's freaking cold out here. And I have a new microphone to stop the wind noise on my videos, so it's kind of, can't really help it, but. I'll just give you a quick show on what we do for the watering. It's been a really big pain because usually, I think you guys have watched my videos, usually I have that slate that uh, I just fill up with regular water. It's kind of a one-shot deal for all the coops. But uh, doing it this way, we have to do it a bucket of time because they're supposed to be doing it for a week. And this is day six, so. Now we're just topping the water, the empty ones off with uh, one bucket um, just to get through that week. So it's uh, not as efficient as my regular water watering system. And I've been pretty frustrated with it, but at the same time, hashtag farm life. So um, yeah, so it's just a video about how farming is a very good way of life but also it's got its ups and downs. So hopefully you guys appreciate this. So yeah, you can tell they're thirsty. Um, usually these guys have access to a watering bowl, so we haven't been having to water them all winter. But uh, this would be good if it was warmer out, but that water freezes almost instantly. So they're thirst very thirsty every time we bring out water. So then I noticed the turkey or the peacock pen is out, so I'm just gonna give them the last three liters of antibiotics and that pain should be out of our hair. So I guess you guys have the gist of my ideas. Um, I don't want this video to be too long because it's really about nothing. But uh, just to show you guys some of the uh, hiccups we've been dealing with and tell you about them. And uh, we're just so thankful that it's not this major disease that we're gonna have to call our whole flock. Turns out it's just a small cold, so that's a very, very big plus. We were pretty stressed out the last couple weeks that what we're doing, we've worked really hard for what we're trying to do here. And uh, it, that was just a big blow to everything. We were just kind of wondering what we should do next, but turns out um, we're gonna be able to fix this problem and it's not gonna be permanent, so that's good. We just have to think of better ways to do it next winter. Just we've grown, grown so big so fast that uh, 
we never actually realized how much work this would take. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Um, and if my new subscriber about the Brinzi Incubator is watching this, um, stick, stay tuned. We're going to be doing a video on how to do settings on that incubator and how the whole thing works. So that'll be the next video. Um, I just wanted to get this out here just to show you that farming is not all flowers and rainbows. So uh, we'll get through this soap. We're not giving it up and we still love this life. It's just we're learning and uh, this is just another bump in the road. So things are fighting. But uh, so thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for understanding. Hopefully you kind of understand this video. Um, it's just something, but uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.